put it on Turo. That's what I would suggest you to do anyway. Welcome back. This is Kev B with your two row stories. Take the link in my bio to get cash back on your first full ticket gas, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and share these stories with your friends that's trying to get involved in Turo. Uh, what can I do? I get home, I'm setting it up, boop, 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 taking the photos, do, do, do. It gets to the section where you're checking in the car, and I will do a video of how you load your car up onto the Turo platform when you do get your vehicle. It's not hard at all. It's very simple, very easy. As long as you got an iPhone, I don't team iPhone. I don't know how Android is. I'm just kidding. You guys, the camera's actually better. But um, you load it. I was loading up the photos, and it gets to this section where you pick your insurance plan. Wait a minute. Insurance. Duh. Turo offers insurance. Turo offers insurance. Okay, so now I get the Turo insurance. I pick my plan. At the time, I believe I was at the 70% plan. I don't know if they even offer 70% plan anymore, but I believe that's what I was at. 70% plan. Such and such and such. I think it was a $250 deductible. Good. You print out the insurance card, you put it in there. Your renters, when they get pulled over by the officers or they have any problems with the vehicle, if they had to get towed or anything like that, the car is registered because you see the tag back there. As well as the insurance is up to date because they're going to have the Turo insurance provided for them as renters. Hey! Okay. Okay. So they'll be good. They'll be good. As far as the tow, hopefully you don't have to get towed, because I don't know. You know, once you get towed, you gotta present, I think you gotta present actual registration. That would really suck. But that's not a problem to get, obviously. Um, because, no, because I got the registration. Duh, I don't know what I'm thinking about. I, lo I, I was lost right there. You have to present the actual insurance. So, and they have the renter's insurance, so they have the registration according to the tag, and if I have to come down there and show it, boom, and they have the insurance, which is Turo Ventures Insurance, they have, boom. And that that covers them, kind of, right? So if they get pulled over by the police, they show the Turo Insurance. So yeah, 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 of course. Of course. Of course. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to defer my insurance until after my birthday. I'm going to save myself another four or five hundred dollars. And because I just bought this car outright, the only thing I have to pay for is maintenance and gas. Imagine if I had done that right after my birthday. I mean, it's a risk that I was willing to take. And I took that risk. You know? So... And when my birthday came, because you have to renew the registration, I, that's when I got the insurance. Simple. If there was ever a claim that needed to be made, Turo covered it. Because it's through Turo. And the fact of the matter is, even if I did purchase the insurance on my own, and the renter had gotten into any type of issue with the vehicle, I would never contact my insurance. Why? Because I don't want my and my MVR or to go up or my um, insurance rate and, and all this other stuff to go up. Put it on Turo. That's what I would suggest you do anyway. And that's what I did. So that's my story. You can take from that story whatever you want. You can take it, throw it in the garbage. Or you can take it and enjoy it. Either way, man, these are the tips and tricks that I used to maximize my profits. Just a couple of them. Number one and two are a must. The story is just for entertainment purposes alone. Peace. As long as you believe you can't make it, you won't make it.
Because if you believe that you can do it, you will do it.